Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to get into the Flash Cloud software and how to upload your models to send them to the printers. So this, this is the page that you'll see when you log into Flash Cloud. What you need to type in to get here though is the word cloud. So the address is at the top here. It says cloud.sz3dp.com. If you start to type cloud into the browser on the Chromebooks, it will it will bring that address up so you can just select it. So cloud.sz3dp.com. And then this is the page that you'll see. So it's got the list of printers. We've got two connected at the moment and then all of the jobs here, job list. What I'd like you to do is make a note of which printers are online or offline here. They're both, mine are both offline at the moment. If you're wanting to print straight away, you need to choose a printer that has either got a green or a red dot next to it here because that means they're on. Um, if it's grey, it's not going to print at the moment. That's fine. You know, if you print go a bit longer and you want me to print it later, just leave it like that. So the first thing you guys are going to do is come into my model and here you upload your model. So click the blue upload model box and choose model files. What you will have done before this guys is downloaded your STL from Tinkercad. So remember put a sensible name on this so that it doesn't get lost in the queue. I've called mine Holly Print and then you go to export, make sure everything in the design is selected if that's what you want and then dot STL and it will download that file into your downloads folder which I'll show you in a moment. So choose model files, I'm going to go in here, my files are here in my download folder, they'll be the same on the Chromebooks, you select one of those, that all looks okay, press upload, once that blue bar, blue bar, blue bar <laughs> is done, um, it's uploaded, so press close and that will go right to the top of the print there, it's got two because I just did one as a practice. Now you need to click on your print to set up the print settings. Whoa, that is massive. <laughs> Let's see if we can change that. So click the blue button which says print. This is really important here, guys. This is where you choose which 3D printer you want to print on. So one or two. If you're in any doubt, just ask me or one of the other, other adults. You'll be able to move this window around so you can see your print. What I'd like you to do, if your print's quite small, I'd like you to move it forward so it's not right in the middle of the plate because it makes it quite difficult to take off. You do that by using these bars, look, so you can slide them, slidey, slidey. If the wall goes red, it means you're off the print bed and it won't print for you because it's going to crash. So just put that there somewhere. You can rotate it round. Scale is to make it bigger or smaller. Just leave my, mine about there. And then go on to print settings. Now, don't touch material or support, they're absolutely fine. What I'd like you to do is change two things in here. The first one is the raft. I'd like you to disable the raft, please. If you print with a raft on, you'll find it really difficult to get it off your print and it might snap. So make sure that's disabled. Leave the quality as standard and then I'd like you to select brim. Brim is a much lighter bit of material. It just stops your print peeling away from the printer. Don't touch anything else in here. Then go to print at the bottom and it will upload the model ready for slicing and put it into a queue. So you can see, Thomas has done this a few times, <laughs> all of the prints line up at the bottom. So I'm queuing on flash forward one at the moment, which is offline, which is fine. If you can't see your print here, you need to scroll across. Um, there's, there'll be a gray bar at the bottom, there you go, and you can scroll across. Your print will always go to the end of the queue. If you want to bump it up to the start of the queue and you've asked permission to do that otherwise you just need to stay where you are if i've told you to go to the start of the queue press the arrow and it will put it right to the top the one that i actually want to keep at the top here though where's my bar gone oh it's under there um the one that i want to keep here is lucas's so i'm just going to move that back up there we go if my printer was on now you'd get the option to start the print because it's off you don't get that option and if I've told you just to queue it and not print it and I'll print it later for you this is all you need to do so it's there waiting it's been sliced and it's waiting to print any questions guys just ask have fun